just proud that I actually was part of the school. Just knowing like all the changes that Renaissance have made in Springfield. We finally have a school in town that changed everything in the city. For these students, this first year at Renaissance was their first time really being asked to do work of, of high quality for an outside audience. This project was brought to our attention. We were like, what do they expect us to do with this big pond? Like we're 15 year old students. But we felt a lot of pressure. Um, they were depending on us to decide if this pond was swimmable or not. It was kind of like empowering, I guess. Like, oh, they're, you know, they're depending on this brand new school. You know, it's the first year. They're depending on us to give them the information that they're looking for. Each group had a specific section of the pond that we tested. So different groups had different areas of the pond that we were figuring out whether or not the pond was safe to swim. And that was sort of the ultimate type of responsibility that you can give to a group of students. We were told this is important. We're doing this for the community. You guys are responsible and we're going to present it. And some important people were going to come to this assembly and we were to present it as if it was a real setting. And it was a real setting. I actually live five minutes away from the pond, so I was actually excited to know what were going to be the results just because as a kid I used to walk around by the area with my mom and always wonder how come that pond was always closed. It was both the scientific content because they had to take the state exam at the end of the year uh, but also as a way to really engage them in the community and to be able to do scientific field work. I felt that that was an important skill that I wanted my students to have. It wasn't just a cool project, it was a cool project based deeply in the standards. We read primary sources, we read secondary sources, we read scientific text, uh, we read the Massachusetts water quality standards and made sense of them. I'm gonna read something, I'm gonna understand it, I'm gonna use that with my field work and my field experiences, and I'm gonna make sense out of that and, and, and apply it through my writing and show what I know through what I write. And that, to me, is deeply embedded in the Common Core state standards and deeply embedded in what it means to be college and career ready. It got us ready for the real world because me personally, I knew that in college deadline was very important and part of having a career is knowing that someone is going to hold you responsible. I think that students who are the most ready for college and for careers are students who have a variety of skills that they've learned in high school. Um, and Loon Pond was an example of a project that gave us different skills. Um, whether it's testing water, or whether it's writing up the lab reports, editing the lab reports, it gave students different skills that they may not have normally got. At the end of the day, like I was proud. I was proud of myself. I was proud of our class as a whole. Like, it. I mean, it came out really great. We presented it to the mayor of Springfield, and everyone was so impressed with us. During my undergrad, I had to conduct my own study, and I had to go out there get approval, and then I had to start. I had to collect data, do a chart just like we did for this project, and then the final goal was to have a final paper and present it to the whole school. So it was very similar. Our test results in that first year for the Science MCAS, um, they were significantly higher than the rest of the city. So whereas people thought 
Like, oh, you know, that crazy school. Well, all of a sudden, that crazy school was getting good results. I ultimately want my students to believe in themselves and believe in themselves in a, in, in a myriad of ways. Um, and one of those ways is to believe that, that, that they're capable of, of whatever it is they'd like to do. I should be in Hollywood. We should all be in Hollywood. <laughs> Come on, class of 2010, let's do something.